slow and steady wins the race. The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. It is so awesome to finally be back with you on night one of a seven star terror raid. I missed the first night of the last two terror raids, so I had a really fun time on stream cooking up a solo build for the Danimals. My community, the Danimal Kingdom, has two goals when it comes to all these event terror raids. Help as many people as possible get the win in these terror raids and beat these terror raids with as many different Pokemon as possible. A quick shout out to the Danimal Stevo and David Bowerman and all the other Gastrodon enjoyers in the chat that helped me workshop this build live on stream. I'm really excited to take on Swampert because the Hoenn region is my favorite Pokemon region of all. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, they are my favorite games and my favorite Pokemon is Sceptile. If we've seen Blaziken and Swampert, that means it's only just a matter of time until we get my beloved Sceptile. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about how to defeat a Swampert that is no longer times four weak to Leaf Blade. Here's a high level look at seven star Swampert and three builds you can use to defeat it in both solo and group raids. Up top, we have the infamous stored powered Slowbro dating all the way back to seven star Greninja last year. And we have Bronzong that was in my featured in my preview. Sunny Day is a nice add because it's already immune to the poison type move, uh, Sludge Wave. It's immune to Earthquake. So Sunny Day halves the damage from Liquidation and Hydro Pump. Then next to that, we have the Slug. Let's take a closer look at it. Here's the star of today's video. It is the Slug Gastrodon. Now your Slug can be blue or pink. Mine just happens to be blue because it's my favorite color. You're gonna want your Slug to be Terra Ground and the held item Metronome for a damage boost. So as you'll see, we will kind of need it. We have plenty of bulk. As for our EVs, we're HP and Special Attack. HP EVs are going to be the way to go against Swampert because it is a mixed attacker. We have a modest nature to further increase our special attack while lowering our attack, max IVs, and all stats except for attack. The Storm Drain ability is the key to this build. This not only makes Gastrodon immune to Swampert's water type attacks, but it also sharply increases our own special attack when we get hit with them. That greatly increases our damage output. Mudslap is one of the best support Pokemon to use against Swampert because it is a mixed attacker. It's better than just lowering attack or special attack because lowering the accuracy will cause both types of moves to miss. We also use Mudslap to charge our Terra Orb. Earth Power is this build's main attacking move. It hits for great special uh, ground type damage and it also has the chance to lower the target's special defense, which is very, very helpful as we'll see later in the video. Stockpile is the other key to this build it is perfect for going against mixed attackers. It, we use it one time to raise the defense and special defense of Gastrodon, but we can only use it three times. To get Stockpile on your Gastrodon, give it an empty move slot, then put it in your party holding the Mirror Herb. Put a Pokemon that learns Stockpile via level up like Pelipper in your party, open up a Picnic, close the Picnic, and now your Gastrodon knows Stockpile. The last move is Recover, but as you see, I'm not going to end up using it. It is there as an insurance policy in case you get crit a couple times, but you really only just need Mud Slap, Earth Power, and Stockpile. Now that we've seen the build, let's take a look at the step-by-step -step process we can use to solo Swampert. The turn zero Storm Drain causes us to start the Terror Raid at plus two special attack, which is nice, but we're going to go into a turn one Stockpile. So there's a very specific uh, order of operations we can follow to get consistent wins with Gastrodon. It's Gastrodan, <laughs> or no Gastrodon, but it is definitely one of the faster, but I think it's the most consistent by far. So it's that turn one stockpile. Then we're going to use Mud Slap until Swampert nullifies the stats and abilities on our sides of the field. At that point, a little preview ahead, we're going to use two more stockpiles, then we're going to get into our attacking. But we're using Gastrodon because, as I said, that Storm Drain ability, it protects us from that turn zero muddy water and it also protects us once you break the shield swamper will use liquidation and uh, muddy water or er, in back-to-back moves so we, that raises our special attack as well and then gastrodon thanks to stockpile that egg move has plenty of bulk to tank these hits so even if i think we're pretty much safe from crits and it, even without the rng from earth power we are still fine it can go a lot faster based on are we hey are we getting these earth power special defense drops or do you have a pokemon like Driftblim using shadow ball if you have a teammate using shadow ball which i think that sylveon just did i might be wrong you might have to rewind it 
But if you have a teammate using Shadow Ball, that can also drop special defense, which will go a long way. So there is the nullification on our side of the field. When that happens, now we want to use our two stockpiles. This specific number, no three stockpiles. Why? Because you can only use stockpile three times while a Pokemon's out there. And even though we are getting our stats nullified, it doesn't reset. So I'm going to do those two stockpiles. And also I want to talk about uh, some other good allies. Belly Bolt is a nice ally for this because that ha uses Light Screen. That'll reduce the damage from uh, Sludge Wave. Won't help us for Hydro Pump, but for other builds. And then the Intimidators will cause us to take less damage from Earthquake. So there's a lot of really useful AI allies because Swampert is a mixed attacker. So there's our two stockpiles. At this point, we need to charge our Terra Orb. We're going to do it with Mud Slap. Mud Slap's uh, a very, very great Pokemon to use, or move to use rather, because it is a mixed attacker. Chilling Water helps, drops the defense. Something like Skitter Smack would help, drops the special attack, but against Mud Slap, against mixed attackers, Mud Slap. Holy cow, can I talk today? So, before we Terrastalize, we want to look at our HP. We're good. I don't need to use an, uh, we don't, I don't need to use a recover. We have recover. We need it. I'm not going to use it right now. That's because we got the extra healing from our Balaba. I am going to use a go all out attack cheer to help increase our damage output. We also have that metronome held item. Remember that is going to increase the damage we're doing by 20% every time to help stack up that damage. But because we can't raise our own special attack, Oh, thank you for this. The safeguard from Arbalaba. Because we can't raise our own special attack. We have to rely on the, the Storm Drain RNG to raise our special attack. Or the Earth Power RNG to drop the special defense of Swampert. Yeah, wow. Shout out to the safeguard ally. Uh, getting hit with Yawn isn't the biggest deal. Because the cheers don't break the chain for uh, using the metronome held item. So let's say we did get Yawn there. We could use two Earth Powers, and then we could go ahead and Heal Cheer. We're not going to lose the damage that we're just building up. That's no, it's no problem. So uh, Yawn isn't the biggest deal to me, because that's just one turn of us, of us using a Heal Cheer. So at this point, it's really simple. If you had a Turbo Controller, you could throw it on. You're just going to use Earth Power over and over again. So then I want to take a second to ask you, Okay, what Pokemon are you using so far to solo 7-star Swampert? I've used this, and this is my favorite. I also used Ronzong, and then Slowbro, always a great choice. Let's see, are we popping the shield here? We're doing nice damage. Yeah, the Gardevoir NPC is also a great one for life, dude. That helps. See, look at that. Tanking those hits, even with a crit. Even with a crit, we're tanky. Are we popping that shield? Show us some damage. Okay, okay, okay. So while we're attacking, I want to use any and all time I can to say, all right, please give us a seven-star Corridon and Miridon Terror Raid. You probably heard me say that before, but the Zera Aura Sword and Shield Raids were awesome. A one million people beat Zera Aura. Everyone got a shiny Zera Aura. There's two box legendaries that are shiny locked. What better way to unshiny lock them? Bang! Then seven-star Corridon and Miridon. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And when it comes back, you can say, hey, son, hey, Dan, you told us about this. I'm keeping the faith. But that's big damage. That's big old damage. And yep, there's... So after we pop the shields, that's going to use that Storm Drain us. So once we pop the shield, it's just a rush to pop the shield because now we have that plus two special attack. Usually it does a liquidation on me when we pop it. We'll see. So we're just going to keep swinging. We're in good shape. Our Bolivar is a nice for the healing. Uh, Gardevoir is probably the best ally because the life do. But that's big old damage. The slug is loose. And in this case, it's not the tortoise in the hair. It is not the tortoise in the hair. It is the slug and the axotl. And slow and steady wins the race. The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. The slug has done it. Goodbye, Swampert. Sceptile is the better Gen 3 starter. Now the ever important question is, what Pokeball are we going to use? I am going with the Moonball. Overall, one of my favorite Pokeballs. 
I think there's a couple good ones that go with it being blue. Shout out to the netball. But let me know in the comments what Pokeball you are catching your Poison Terra Swampert with. Axolotl. 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 Bang! We have done it! If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Earth Power on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Swampert season!